Let's look at drill down reports in SAP Financial Accounting. Drill down reporting provides useful functions for navigating within the report. Just like the word itself drill down, it actually helps you to drill down the report to the original posted documents. I'm just jumping to the third step over here, but I'll quickly come back to that. In addition, the drill down report contains many options to process a report which means in the report you can actually sort the report in ascending or descending order which is also called ranking. You can also filter the report for example if you only want to see the report for company code XYZ or if you only want to see the report for document type DR and so on. You can do multiple filters at the same time. So these functionalities is quite useful when you actually want to narrow down to some particular values in the report. As I mentioned earlier, in the drill down report, you can go back to the original posted document. For example, you are, in, you are looking at a vendor balances report and from the balances report, you can go to the vendor line item report and from the vendor line item, you can actually trace it back to the original invoice of that vendor. So that is a useful functionality in SAP With the, because of the drill down functionality, you can actually navigate back to the original document till the and all the way uh, coming back to the main report. Another tool of the drill down reporting functionality is the report itself you can directly email or fax it to an internet address which is an external email address or within your own SAP network. For example, in your company if you want to send out your customer balances report to your supervisor, you can directly click one button on the top of the report which will automatically send out to your required supervisor. and that the supervisor when they log into the SAP system, they can actually see it in their SAP inbox. And once in that inbox, they can click on that report and automatically it brings you to the main SAP report. So this is quite useful rather than downloading the report into Excel or any other format and then attaching it to your normal email and sending it across. This functionality of directly sending it via SAP uh, to the SAP emails when it comes down to the SAP inbox as soon as you log on to the SAP menu screen is quite useful for accelerated reporting and management tasks. You can also download the report into Excel forms or even MS Word or rich text formats. This is useful for you to further manipulate the report. Probably you want to highlight a few fields and then send it across to your supervisors or relevant parties. All the reports you see in SAP are developed initially from a form. Imagine form is like a blank Excel file where you are actually going to start to fill up the columns and rows and then with those columns and rows predefined, the system will generate the values in each of those cells. So imagine that scenario and now think of it in SAP form where in SAP also you are going to create a blank form and you are going to predefine what are the columns and rows are going to be and the system will generate those for each cell what the values is going to come. It's going to pick up those values from its database table. So let us look at what is a form. So it describes the basic content and formal structure of report lists. So when you look at basic content, it means in each of the columns, in like for example in a table, you have columns and rows. So each of those cells, those are like your content, how it's going to be populated and the formal structure of the report list. For example, what are the columns, how many rows, what each of those columns say. You can also have columns and calculation of columns, calculation of rows and so on. So a plain form, just like a blank form, we will come back to what are characteristics and key figures in our next few slides when you define the report. So characteristics appear in the form as well as in the report because you probably see characteristic we want to go define next slide but is a characteristic for example a company code can be a characteristic so it will be in the form when you define this column you want to sp specify the company codes or in this row you want to specify the company codes or in the selection criteria you want to specify the company codes so that's what's going to come in the form and it'll also come in the report because in the report also it will mention for this company code you're executing and so on and you can also choose key figures in the form or in the report. Just like characteristics, you'll also find key figures. Key figures are usually like values, just like the word itself, figure. So imagine link into values or quantities and so on. So you'll find those values also in the form as well as the report. Now let's look at what are characteristics.